why do my DAX formulas return wrong results in this video I'll be sharing some common calculation mistakes that beginners make when building DAX measures and calculated columns in Power BI If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please do so to stay up to date with Power BI, Power Query and Excel videos from Excel Fort. Let's have a look at the first DAX problem. It's a zero and a blank issue. Let me show you the data first. It's a simple table with dates and values where you have some numbers. Certain records are with zero value and two values you can see without any data just blank here I have created a measure to show if the value is greater than or equal to zero then to show as recorded otherwise not recorded unfortunately you don't see that coming up here right you see not recorded for zero values as well let's have a look at the measure the measure basically checks if the sum of value is equal to blank then not recorded otherwise it's recorded it seems okay but the problem here is DAX considers blank and zero as blank so to overcome this to solve this problem we can either use strict evaluation using double equal sign this will resolve the problem now you see not recorded appears only for the blank records others are recorded or there is another way instead of using strict evaluation we can use the function is blank i'm using it as a function here let me close the bracket and check now this should also work yes now we get not recorded for 7th and 10th mm -hmm. additionally i also have another measure where i am supposed to show the number of zero records here so let's have a look at the measure i calculate count rows by filtering value equals zero i have four record with zero here but it shows six the problem again is this zero and blank so i can apply strict evaluation in this case and let me confirm the measure yes it's four now it's correct before i demonstrate the other issues in dax let me show you a small data model which i am using for the rest of the problems I've got a small model, a dates table, a product table with product and product category, and the sales transactions table. Let's look at the sales transaction table. We've got date, segment, country, product ID, unit sold, cost price, sales price, and the salesperson. I have created a simple measure to total the gross sales. Let me show you that under measures. I'm simply adding the sales by multiplying sales price by unit sold using SUMX. In a table which will have inserted the salesperson and the gross sales. So the task here is to calculate the sales commission for each salesperson who exceed sales by 7 million. So the 10% commission has to be calculated by salesperson right now the problem is as you look at each line here you can see the amount is correct it's 10 percent has been calculated the problem lies in the grand total the total here 6.3 million is not correct it should not calculate 10 percent of total gross sales rather it sh these three numbers should be added let's have a look at the measure sales commission I simply take the gross sales and check if it is more than 7 million then multiply it by 10 percent right but the problem here is you need to understand the filter context right rather than looking at each row in DAX it's important to look at the context on which the calculation is carried out at this grand total level the filter here is for all the salespersons right that's where we get this total sales amount as 63.9 million so obviously it's uh, going to calculate 10 percent of that but what we are supposed to do is to calculate for each salesperson and add them together to do that 
let's change the calculation to sum x over values of salesperson I'm going to calculate the gross sales for each salesperson then sum x will add them together fine but I haven't inserted the condition yet so I can go ahead and insert if total sales is greater than 7 million then gross sales into 10 percent now you're looking at the correct amount 2.4 million is the amount our next DAX problem involves calculating a percentage of total I have product category and segment gross sales then I want to calculate the percentage of segment sales to the category so where the total should be 100% as you look at this it's confirmed that it shows 100% this is the breakup by segment which is correct but the problem is if I select let's say channel partners and enterprise so now it's not giving me 100% for categories right and the split should be here for that hundred percent by each segment what happens here is it doesn't take the selected segments for the calculation so the calculation should be total gross sales divided by the total of whatever segments I have selected let's have a look at the measure The measure basically calculate the total gross sales and dividing it by total sales and removing filter from segment the problem here is it's removing the filter from all segments not only the selected ones that's where you get this amount as 17 percent and one percent it's going beyond what is selected to restrict it to the original filter context and clear the filter we can simply apply all selected now it clears the filter only from the item that have been selected not beyond that let me confirm the measure now you see 92 percent and 8 percent adding up to 100 percent let's remove the filter from here and you see still correct you can choose any item comes up to 100 percent the fourth problem that we are looking at is about handling DAX variables within your DAX calculations this example is similar to the one we looked before in our third example the difference is I'm using variables to calculate it let's have a look at the measure I need to calculate the segment contribution percentage but here I'm looking at 100% everywhere let's have a look at the measure so I'm calculating the total gross sales assigning it to a variable then to divide by the total I'm calculating again the total sales which I have already assigned to a variable and the removing the filter from all selected which we learned in the previous example which is correct all selected segments right so I'm dividing the total sales by the total sales segment which is supposed to give me the correct answer but you see hundred percent everywhere the problem here is in this part I'm evaluating total sales which is a variable and trying to modify the context you should understand that when you assign a value to a variable the amount is calculated at the time it's assigned variables are constants it won't change afterwards that's the reason within calculate when you modify the filter context the total sales variable is not affected eventually 
when I have the divide function you will have the numerator and the denominator will have the same amount for example if you look at this line you will have 411 on the top even at the bottom for the denominator you will have the same amount that's why you see 100 percent instead of having the variable here you can simply replace this with the actual measure now the filter modification will impact this measure let's confirm the measure and check now you see the correct percentages appearing let's apply a filter yes it works fine we are in problem number five trying to solve a similar problem like in the previous two scenarios but in this case i have got year month name and gross sales i'm supposed to calculate the similar calculation here trying to get the percentage of monthly sales as a percentage of uh, the year total in this case uh, it's giving me 100 percent let's go and have a look at the measure the measure basically calculates uh, the total sales and dividing it by the total sales by removing all the filters applied to the month i've applied the all selected which looks okay but why it's giving 100 percent the reason is in the dates table i am using month name in my column here let's go back to the dates table this is the month name you look at sort by column i have selected month number in order to sort the month name i have used the month number now when you clear the filter from month wherever you are using the month name and you want to clear it you need to make sure you are also clearing the month number filter as it is associated with the month name to get the correct sort order so i'll simply add month number let's confirm the measure to check yes now it's giving me the correct answer in this example we are looking at two rank x problems i've created two measures one to rank the salespersons by gross sales and the second one is to rank by total units but i'm not getting the ex expected results here i see one everywhere let's have a look at the first measure the sales ranking measure Rank X asks for a list of values as its first argument. It could be a table expression. I'm providing a list of values, but since I have used values, it only considers uh, the distinct values, whatever is visible in the filter context. That's why you see that you get one here. At every row, you can only see just one salesperson, whereas I need to provide all salesperson within this filter now to do that i can change values into all selected now it clears the filter within the query and provides the list of all the salesperson let's try now yeah it's working fine now let's have a look at the next measure which is ranking by total units all selected salesperson which is correct as the first argument but the expression that you are providing here should be evaluated uh, for each salesperson here this is a raw context the measure you are providing here should be evaluated for each value to turn this raw context into a filter context we can use calculate and create the context transition this is one way to solve this issue now it's ranking correctly since we already have a total units measure instead of this expression i can replace it with total units since every measure has a calculate function wrapped around it although it's not visible 
it does the context transition here let's try yeah we are getting the same results now in our next example we are looking at a sales band problem i have created a measure to set the sales band based on the gross sales for each salesperson this is the criteria that is mentioned here less than 6 million sales it should be tagged as low greater than or equal to 6 million medium and greater than or equal to 8 million high right i have the first value here 8.9 million which is supposed to be as per this condition high but i am getting medium 7.7 million this is okay the low is okay so why i am getting this value over here let's have a look at the measure i am first assigning total gross sales to a variable then you switch to check each uh, scenario if the total sale is less than 6 million low greater than or equal to 6 million then medium and the last one greater than or equal to 8 million high low medium high then why am i getting the wrong results now if you look at this carefully let's take the first amount 8.9 million which is not less than 6 million but definitely more than 6 million also it's more than 8 million so two conditions are met here so it picks the first one that meets the condition yes now the problem here is arranging the order of the conditions for that you can use alt up arrow to move a line i put high at the first medium in the second row and adjust the comma here okay i don't need one for the last this should work let's check this is fine now that's all from me and i hope the content that i just presented was helpful to you if you like more videos on power bi power query and excel please subscribe to my youtube channel and stay up to date you can download the power bi files that i used in this video using the link below